Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some more Illusion of Gaia. Last time we went into the Elon Musk or the uh, Diamond Mud and uh, we were able to free the slaves. And so now that we have the freedom to do so in Frisia, we're going to go catch up with our friends. Everybody here looks like they're safe and sound. Poor Eric, I think. I don't know if I did this last time or not, but I'm going to try this, the memory melody. Nothing happened, okay, great. If I don't know who I am, how did I get here? Yeah, I think we just, <laughs> maybe it'll work now, huh? It helps if you talk to the right person, viewers. Little did you know. If you like playing command melodies, or not command melodies, this is not Wind Waker. If you like playing the memory melody and having your friends regain their senses of self, like this video, comment, subscribe. Ooh, this is one of my favorite songs in the entire game. I actually have this song saved to some playlist of game music. The title of it is very strange though. I believe it is In the Earth and Womb. Leaves to the Japanese to name stuff, weird things. But now everybody's gonna get in their feels a little bit. Time to get emotional. Time to get in touch with your inner self. There it is. Never say this to anybody that you know. Please. Yeah, this, this game gets a little existential from time to time. And these are children, by the way. Do you know anybody that's like a preteen or young teenager that says this kind of stuff? If you do, stop talking to them. All right. Oh no, when his dad didn't come back from Milk and Cigar er, Expedition. Poor Lance. Oh man, how heartbreaking. Losing a parent. And of course, Kara's trying to one-up everybody. Hey, my dad didn't come back from an expedition. Kara's like, well, you know, my dad's an imperialist and, you know, trying to colonize and kill people. Well, maybe this is what you get. A beautiful song juxtaposed with these kids being weird. Eric finally chiming in for their friend to see if Seth's okay. Oh, people live on because they forget about unpleasant things. That is called displacement. That's how you get rid of your big T traumas. Cool. I know nobody blinks except for Will. Everybody else is just a static robot. But there's your cutscene, huh? <gasps> Did it work? Lance, are you back? Did you miss your days in NSYNC? Oh, so worried. Care of all people. Very believable. Well, seemed to be effective. There's an eccentric inventor. How many kids know the word eccentric? In the woods nearby, shall we go? I think his name is Neil? The grass type. Did you say Neil? What? Oh my gosh, is this Will's lost cousin? What are you doing, lost cousin? My cousin Neil, the inventor, flew in the sky, a thing called an aeroplane. So you just get warped there, I guess. Whatever. Sure. Let's go visit Neil, our long lost cousin. A little family reunion up at Neil's cottage. Must be a high school hockey player, but he's got a college. Don't worry, we're just gonna bust in. Unexpected. I've been expecting you. He seems very cash with uh, people just kind of coming into his place. And he remembers more of us than we do of him. <laughs> Leave it to Kara to be judgmental. Also, this game has a bad habit of not putting question marks after questions. <laughs> there you go. Call him out, Neil. That's it. When you're on the spectrum, I mean, when you're an inventor, 
You can become a little nose blind. Come on, there's nothing wrong with wearing the same socks a little bit. All right, let's let's not have a a comparison contest here. Smelly feet are bad though. Wash your feet, viewers, and your butt. Wash your butt and your feet. <laughs> Neil has heard enough. He's here to invent, not to be judged. He's gonna take the high road though, in his airplane. All right, so now that we've become reunited with our cousin Neil, haven't seen him in about two years. He's been inventing all kinds of crazy things. Apparently an airplane. These are his four inventions, his best work. Let's check it out. What do we got over here? An oxygen tank with air inside. Only one minute though. He's gonna figure it out someday. Actually, you know, let's talk to our friends real quick. Are these just the same things they would have said before? Seth will be pleased when he sees, which one? The air tank? All right, you guys are just being jerks. Airplane wings, part of a machine that will fill, fill man's dream. What about woman's dream? Flying in the air like a bird? We need a runway to take off, but it's hidden in the desert. Spoilers? The camera, it'll burn a copy of a scene on a printing paper. Takes almost 30 minutes. Scenery doesn't move, but to photograph a person, you can't move. This is why if you've ever seen those old photos of people, why they never smiled in old historical photographs because you had to hold that pose for a long time in order for the exposure to be able to be taken advantage of. Oh, he's gotta work on that red eye though. And the final invention, the telescope. You can see stars as if they were in your hand. Interesting, well done, Neil. Very ambitious to be inventing all of these things that took hundreds of years throughout history, all in the span of two years. Pretty incredible. Tell me why you came to see me. Tell me the truth. So we regale Neil about trying to find our dad, who's on an expedition. <laughs> Neil is also interested in this, though. It's pretty cool. Hmm. The ruins have something in common. Drawing a line amongst them makes a shape that looks like the constellation of Cygnus, which I believe is a goose. Kara's very familiar. It's apparently where the Tower of Babel is. Yes, a big white bird. Maybe a stork, even. I don't know. So apparently it's all coming together for everything. We need to go check out these ruins. Something is going to happen. Something good may happen. Fortunately, the Nazca ground paintings are a week's walk. A week's walk? Ew. Yeah. Make sure you've gotten all the red ge ble 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 gem jewels you're going to get. Yeah, let's... We don't want Will to be the only one having a good time walking for three weeks. Couldn't take your aeroplane? This sounds brutal. Yikes. Yeah, I wouldn't want to ruin a good time walking through the desert. I'm not trying to yuck anyone's yum here, but I think we might need to reevaluate. What fun is. The Nazca Plane. We did a good job, and we did not change our socks. Oh, it's a condor, okay. But yeah, these are actually real places. Uh, the Nazca Ruins or Nazca Lines, I believe are in Peru, maybe. They're in South America somewhere, in the desert, and they're just these gigantic drawings of uh, different creatures, shapes. It's pretty incredible. A wonder of the world. So now that we are free to go, you can kind of wander around here a little bit and see the shape of the condor that is all around us. This is, like I said, a real thing. So you can actually go and visit this, which I feel is pretty incredible. Hopefully we'll be able to do that someday myself. There are these ancient civilizations, which we don't really give a lot of credit to for how brilliant they were, being able to figure out architecture 
agriculture, astronomy, mathematics, all these crazy things that we take for granted as being something that we can look up in an instant. And it took these people lifetimes to decide. But we are all the better because of their dedications, which is very cool. So as you can see, pretty pretty amazing stuff here. Oh, what did that say? Oh, Nazca's huge. Don't go too far. Okay. If you say so. So let's just keep wandering around here. Maybe we'll see something neat. Perhaps we will encounter something fun. Wait for everybody else. It's scaly. Probably. School, study, play, not change your socks. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what it is, Kara. Maybe these are people running athletic events. I mean, it could be. I don't know. Who knows what these symbolize to them? I mean, obviously, it's based on a constellation, but... Other than that, who knows? Pretty incredible, though, that you've got something this massive... All the way down here. Nazca is huge, that's what you're doing. Now, I do believe that we should be able to encounter something special here. If it can pop up. I don't remember if these stones have anything to do with it. Haha! <laughs> Kara, you're so funny. Yeah, I think that there's some sort of a connection. I don't remember what all these things do. But what I do know is that if you have headphones, there's like this very dull, like, sound that you'll hear. Pretty close recreation, if I have to say so myself. Yeah, I don't know if any of these stones, they mean anything special. There's probably some sort of a connection. But I'm looking for something, and I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if any of these do any- Oh, there it is! Okay. Coo-coo-coo! Uh-oh, it's gone. Viewers, what do we do? Let's go talk to Neil, maybe we'll have- right. Oh, everybody has been assembled? What's going to happen? Okay. Boring. Agents were amazing! Yes. Neil, what do you got to say for yourself? Okay. This condor looked like Cygnus, of course. Down with the Cygnus. Yeah, I would imagine. Oh my gosh! Cygnus has nine stars, there's nine stones. Where is the red star that appeared recently? I don't know. Uh... Head? I don't, I don't know. Right? Okay, apparently not. I'm just going to go through process of elimination. Okay. No. Oh, at the bottom. I think that's where its foot is, maybe? One of the feet. Oh, nailed it. There it is. Let's check the left foot. Left foot, right foot. Hurry, everybody. I I love that I'm the one that goes the wrong way because I'm a big old dumb. I'm gonna beat you there. I didn't go the right way. That's okay. Tile buried in the sand. Okay. A rumbling sound. Ooh. Something huge is coming down. That's what she said. Um. Okay. Uh, great. 
Strange garden floating in the sky over Nazca on the ground. You know, my friends look like tiny ants. Could the paintings be an airport? How do you know what an airport is? You don't even know what an airplane is. Okay, so this is something that we'll be doing next time. This is actually a dungeon, the Sky Garden dungeon. So we'll be taking care of this in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with Illusion of Guy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.